from him wins the day. Otherwise, you could be standing there for quite some time waiting for him to move. <laughs> so how do we know we've got a death adder at our feet? Well, one of the true giveaway telltale signs with this guy is very much he's took his tail. On the end there, it does look like he's got a little worm or a grub like there. That is his caudal lure. He'll generally have that up above the leaf litter and he'll have it we lean backwards and forwards to attract the prey to him. Head's always nice and close, so when that bird or fox, uh, fox rat or whatever might go past, he quickly, like I said, strikes it. And he has got mainly a paralyzing venom. That's what he does. In fact, the last chap that um, presented into the Moolumbar Hospital two years ago, bitten by a death adder, he came in looking very sad and sorry uh, after about an hour of uh, chasing a little death adder around and, and taking several bites on his hands. He thought it was a baby carpet snake out of Chillingham that very night. He ended up in less more intensive care for a few days, but he, he saw it out pretty well. The good thing about the death adders is that the, uh, anti, the, they're very easy to reverse.